Welcome ladies and gents to the fourth episode of Walk in the Park. We're in Prospect Park, Brooklyn today. And we're gonna take a walk around, see what we see. We're gonna find some native plants, some late blooming perennials. It is August. And hopefully we find some cool stuff. All right, we've just come in to Prospect Park or Prospect Park West and 4th Street. And already we see our old friend, Circus Canadensis. Hey, Circus. Uh, the Eastern Redbud, this was one of the first trees we saw in our uh, spring episode. It flowers early in the spring with lavender, pinkish flower buds. Um, and now it's fully leafed out and you could identify it by those distinctive heart-shaped leaves it has now. It's also putting out this little seed pod if you can look close. Growing well in the shade here underneath these large oaks. Here we are, Circus Canadensis. Okay, and next to our Circus Canadensis, we have our old Sweet Bay, Magnolia Virginiana. Uh, Magnolia Virginiana is native to this area, all the way south to uh, probably Florida. And they bear flowers late spring sporadically through the summer. Right about now they're starting to bear their seed pods, their fruit, which also has like a nice bright red color. And you'll st see some of those now. And uh, they have a nice sweet fragrance too if you squeeze those seeds. Okay, walking in the forest here in Prospect Park, we stumbled upon Helianthus, the sunflower. Also native to uh, Eastern US and US in general. Uh, it's an annual. This plant itself will not survive till next season, but those seeds, those lovely sunflower seeds will fall to the ground and produce many more sunflowers for next season. Okay, and right across the street from the sunflowers, we have elderberry, the antioxidant powerhouse. These dark purple berries are edible and uh, they make jams out of them, they make pies out of them, they make syrup out of them, they make medicine out of them are them right here okay here we've got a little Joe pie weed this is in the milkweed family butterflies and bees love it as you can see it is a native to this area and um, all along the eastern US again great for the habitat and uh, also you know slightly ornamental too. these these plants will usually get to about mm, five six feet tall Okay, here we found a patch of jewelweed, um, identified by its delicate light green foliage and orange trumpet-like flowers there that persist from May all the way to September. And interestingly, this plant has been used by Native Americans and North Americans for years and years as a treatment for poison ivy and poison oak. The foliage and the stems have a juice or like a sap inside that once crushed and applied to the skin helps to heal poison ivy, poison oak, also eczema and all kinds of skin irritations. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's some poison ivy around here. Okay, if you've been paying attention at all around these parts, you've seen this plant before. This is American pokeweed and noticeable um, definitely around this time by its magenta stems and berries that um, some of them, well most of them are still green at this point. The plant in all its parts from roots to fruits are poisonous. However, all kinds of wildlife do feed on the pokeweed plant and it has been used medicinally by Native Americans for a long time. It's also being used by medical professionals as a treatment for HIV. They've isolated some kind of protein in the plant and it's, it, ha it is being used medicinally. Um, however, I wouldn't recommend just going and foraging pokeweed because it is highly toxic, so you need to know what you're doing. Alrighty, people, that was your quick eco tour of Prospect Park. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe and don't leave me hanging. Peace.